this problem we have an integral and we're asked if it converges or diverges and if it converges you know find the result so this is an improper integral because it's not continuous at one it has what's called an infinite discontinuity at one if you plug in one here on the bottom of the integrand you'll just get seven over the cube root of one minus one which is seven over the cube root of zero which is just seven over zero which is undefined so this function here is not continuous at one and one is between zero and two right those are your limits of integrations this is an improper integral so to do this problem, what we're going to do is we're going to break it up at one because one is the problem area. One is where you have the uh, discontinuity. So let's write this as two integrals. So we'll write it as the integral from zero to one of seven over the cube root of x minus one dx plus the integral from one to two. So uh, instead of just going straight from zero to two, first we go from zero to one, and then we go from one to two. So this is seven over the cube root of x minus one, and again, dx. All right, now let's carefully, carefully do this. So the problem area is at one. So what you do is you basically replace the number where there's an issue with a variable. So I like to use the letter B. So I'm gonna use a zero here and put a B here. Okay, and then put a limit here. So you replace the one because one's the discontinuity. And then you approach one with your B. Now to figure out which direction you approach from, um, you have to well, you can think about it intuitively, or you can draw a picture and do it intuitively. Uh, intuitively, uh, you're approaching from the left because you're going from zero to one and you're approaching one. If you want to look at a picture, what you can do is you can plot the zero, you can plot the one, and the B's always in the middle. And so B is approaching one. Ah, okay, so it's approaching from the left. You see, from the picture will always tell you which way it's approaching from. I'm going to go ahead and make a leap here. I'm going to rewrite this in a way that allows us to integrate it. So first notice that a cube root can be written as a one-third power. So we can write the integrand like this. And then if you bring it up, what happens is the exponent becomes negative. So I'm going to write this like that. So 7x minus 1 to the negative one-third. This is for the next step. So when we have to integrate it, we don't have to uh, do a bunch of extra steps. Same thing here. We replace the one with a letter. And you can use the same letter. It's OK. Uh, I'll use B here. And there's a 2 here. And this is the limit as B approaches 1 again. Except this time it's a little bit different. Let's see. So here's 0. Oh, no. Here's 1. <laughs> and here's 2. Right? We're using these limits now. And so B is here. So you see that B is approaching from the right this time, so it's a plus symbol. And this is 7x minus 1. This is one of the harder ones. If you're, if you're doing this for a class, if you're studying some calculus, um, I would consider this one of the harder problems that you typically see in uh, a Calc 2 class. Oop, that's a little mistake there as a minus. All right. So to integrate this, we're technically supposed to make a u substitution. Uh, you would let u equal x minus 1. And then so du is just dx. So because du is just dx, um, nothing else is going to happen. So we can be a bit abusive here and just integrate it without making a u sub. So this is the limit. So we still have that limit as b approaches 1 from the left of 7. And then we have x minus 1. We're adding 1. So negative 1 third plus 1 is negative 1 third plus 3 thirds, which is 2 thirds. And when you divide by 2 thirds, you really multiply by 3 over 2. That's the power rule. Uh, we're dividing by 2 thirds, so that results in a multiplication by 3 halves. And we're going from 0 to be heavy on the notation, plus limit. B approaches 1 from the right. Same thing, let's integrate this bad boy. This is 7x minus 1. The integration is exactly the same. So it's negative one-third plus three-thirds, which is two-thirds. We divide by two-thirds, so we really multiply by three-halves. Except this time we're going from b to 2.
Okay, let's keep going. It's a pretty wicked problem. So this is the limit. Okay, this is the limit as B approaches one from the left. So let's see, uh, this is gonna be three times seven is 21. So this is uh, 21 over two. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like this, 21 over two. Whoops, 21 over two. And uh, let me just show an extra step here. I'm just gonna, all, all I did here was multiply the three halves times the seven. I'm just taking a breather here and just slowing down. So I'm rewriting everything and just doing the multiplication here. So approaching one, this is 21 over two. I thought this problem was gonna be a little bit harder, um, but I think it's gonna work out. I think this is gonna converge. Uh, originally I was thinking, oh, this is one of the divergent ones, but no, no, this, is, this, this, this thing is gonna converge, so it's not so bad. So this is the limit as B approaches one from the left. All right, so first you plug in the B, so I'll leave the 21 halves here. So we'll get B minus one, to the two thirds minus, and then you plug in zero. So zero minus one to the two thirds. Okay, just like that, boom. Okay, so uh, plugged in B for the X, subtract, plug in zero for the X, boom. And then left the 21 halves out. Plus we have another limit here. B approaches one from the right. So 21 halves. This will be two minus one to the two thirds minus, I'll, I'll put a bracket here, minus, and then uh, b minus one to the two thirds. Ridiculous on the notation. All right, it's getting crazy. So let's see what happens here. So I think now we can take the limit. So actually we can just plug in one, which is really nice. So if you just plug in one here, you drop the limit sign now, so this is equal to 21 halves, Okay, one minus one is zero when you plug in a one here. So this is just zero. Uh, and then minus negative one to the two thirds plus, and then 21 halves. Two minus one is one. So one to the two thirds is one. And then plugging in one here, it's zero again. Boom. So again, two minus one is one. So you get one to the two thirds, which is just one. And then uh, plugging in one here, uh, would give us zero. All right. So let's see what happens here. This is equal to, um, so negative one to the two thirds, we should investigate what that is. So if you have negative one to the two thirds, what you do is you take the cube root of negative one and you square it. That's how it works. Uh, this number here goes in the little pocket always. Q root of negative one is negative one. Okay, so this is negative one squared. So you just get one. So this is just one, but there's a negative. So this will be, this is a positive one. But there's a negative here. So then, then there's a 21 halves. So that'll be negative 21 halves. And then this one over here is plus 21 halves. Oh, look at that. So you get zero, boom. That is certainly a number. So this thing converges. Awesome problem. So yeah, really, really good stuff. I hope this video has been helpful.